Ever since the end of last season, there have been seeds of doubt at Barcelona that Ernesto Valverde is not the man to take the club forward. So, the new season begun, he's still here, but things aren't looking so good. The question I have is who's going to replace him should Barcelona finally sack Valverde? Well, let's look at a potential few candidates. First up is Eric Ten Hag, the Ajax manager, and in all honesty, I don't know how his name wasn't touted around more clubs in the summer. Ajax obviously went on a fantastic run and it was no doubt in part to the fact that Ten Hag put into play a fantastic brand of football and he had some brilliant players to do so. Come the summer, Ajax were like, yeah, we're bracing ourselves for bids for De Ligt, De Jong, whoever. They knew that they were going to lose a few key players, so I'm sure they maybe not would have been open, but they would have been understanding had a big club come in for Ten Hag. So why didn't Barcelona do so? Especially after that ridiculous capitulation in the second leg of the semi-final in the Champions League. After that night, they should have gone out, looked for a successor, and I'm sure Ten Hag would have fit the bill. A few months later, and he still fits the bill. His style of football is brilliant, and without any disrespect to Ajax, he done it with some players who probably weren't at necessarily the top of the European game. Imagine if he moves to the new Camp, and he's got the likes of Messe, Dembele, and the likes of Messe, Messe, and he's got the likes of Messi, Griezmann, Suarez, Dembele, and he's still got a great relationship with Frankie de Jong. I really think it could be a good choice for Barcelona. So next up is, and it would actually be a return, for Luis Enrique. He didn't exactly part on the best of terms. He chose to leave by not extending his contract to take the Spain job. The thing is, there are rumours that he couldn't quite deal with the power that was held by the players at the club. The likes of Messi, Pique and Sergio Busquets have been there for so long really hold a lot of weight and what they say resounds throughout the club, not just in the dressing room. This is obviously one of the reasons that Luis Enrique left and now that he's left the Spain job and is available again, well, he could be tempted by a return. Of course, by doing this, he will know that the same players, Pique, Busquets and Messi, are still at the club. But because he did guide them to their last Champions League trophy back in 2015, he may still have some say and hold over the dressing room, which could be a massive, massive factor for his return. He's worked under the current club president as well, so things aren't looking so bad for him at the moment. Because of obvious recent family tragedy, it may be a big step for Luis Enrique to come back into management so soon, but he could maybe just come in as a short-term replacement to kind of steady the ship before someone takes on the bigger role, a bigger project, and for a longer period of time. Now, next Next up is actually my favourite for the job because I'd love to see what he could do with this Barcelona squad and it's Kike Setien. Now, he is known as a manager who has a fantastic identity and belief in what he is doing. He plays brilliant attacking football, which definitely can't be said for Ernesto Valverde at the moment. With the two that we mentioned before, they obviously play brilliant football and it's something that Barcelona know about. And the same thing goes for Kike Setien. The problem is, as seen at Las Palmas and his recent job at Betis, where he left in May of this year, well, if things don't go right and he has a bit of a falling out with any powerful figures that may be at the club, he often ends up leaving the club. This definitely doesn't suit well with a team like Barcelona, where, as I mentioned before, players have a big say in the running of the club, and as does the president. But I just think that with what he did at Betis, and although last season they did finish 10th, which was quite poor considering how well they'd done the year before, he really, really, really could get a fantastic attacking team going. Barcelona have exactly what he needs. They've got defenders who are comfortable on the ball, a goalkeeper who's comfortable on the ball, and smart enough players to know when to come in and when to expand the pitch to make the most of their space. Frankie de Jong has literally been brought in for that exact reason. I really, really think he could do a good job, but at the moment, it's reported that he is in Barcelona with a view to moving to Espanyol, Barca's biggest rivals. At the moment, their manager, David Gallejo, is having a poor time of it, and Espanyol currently sit 18th, meaning if Barca don't act fast, Setien could end up at their biggest rivals. So the next person on this list though is actually a bit of a long shot considering the career he had in England, especially towards the end of his time in England. But since taking over at Belgium, Roberto Martinez definitely looks like a pretty good manager. He is of course from Barcelona, he knows the club really well, and his attacking brand of football that he's managed to instill with the Red Devils really, really could work well at Barca. As I mentioned before, in England he was in charge of Swansea and Wigan before moving to Everton. Not exactly the greatest resume or something you'd assume from a Barcelona manager. He would become the first ever person to manage Wigan and Barcelona, of course. But forget about that. In the last few years, he took Belgium to third place in the World Cup and really, really has a fantastic team there, just like he would at Barca. It's clear that they've got the talent, they just need someone to implement it in the right structure and system. Roberto Martinez, I've no doubt, could really do that. He's also been linked with a job with Thierry Henry coming back as assistant coach. We saw this. We saw it at the World Cup where he helped Roberto Martinez, as mentioned before, to that third place. Thierry Henry 
Also knows the club inside and out, having played for Barcelona and been massively successful under the likes of Pep Guardiola. This could be a dream team in Barcelona's backroom staff, and I know it may seem like a long shot, but it's not too long that it's out of the realms of possibility. You know what they should do? Have like the Champions League ball on the trophy. Just have it on top and then someone like boots it off in a celebratory kick. Like, Tina yeah. <laughs> Tina Turner boots it off, breaks her foot on the trophy. Yeah. Breaks her hip. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So last but not least, I wanted to throw a few more names out there who, for reasons at the moment, may not be the best choice or may not be joining. But who knows, in the future, some sort of compromise could be reached. The first is Xavi. The former Barcelona player obviously knows the club better pretty much than anyone with over 750 appearances for them. The problem is him and the current president do not get on at all. Because that Bartomeu has had his fair share of enemies in the past and Xavi is definitely one of them. He said he's going to be waiting until the 2021 presidential elections to see whether or not he will consider rejoining the club. At the moment it seems that he and his family are pretty happy in Qatar so I'm not so sure that he would be moving back. Of course his complete lack of managerial experience obviously is a massive massive minus point. Despite this though, Zindi Zidane was also a brilliant midfielder and had success at Real Madrid in his first full-time job, although that's not working out so well at the moment. Alongside Xavi though, there is the other possibility that Max Allegri could come in. The reason I didn't have him as a favourite, or probably at the beginning of the show, is because his football is so vastly different to what Barcelona want. Yes, Valverde won them the title last season. He's won Barcelona quite a few trophies in the last few years. But the main thing he points at him is that he does not play the attacking football that Barcelona want, that the fans want, that the club demands. He doesn't play the Barcelona brand. Max Allegri does not either. He's a very well thought out, clever tactician from Italy. And he did lead to Juventus to five titles in a row. There's no doubt he's successful. I just can't see him implementing the style of football the Barcelona would want. Despite this, if they want to go for a big name, they could bring him in, but I'm not so sure it will happen. Of course though, you can let me know your thoughts on who you think should be the next Barcelona manager, whether it's someone on this list or someone completely different. Maybe you had another manager in mind. Let me know of your thoughts in the comment section down below and you can click here or here to to check out all of the other videos we've got going on on one football but until next time i will see you guys later